Hey everyone, it's Game Through Pulp, and I am back with another video. Today I will be recording a sort of continuation of a series that I have started previously. Uh, so this series is uh, the Hardcore Survival series. If you're new to my channel, you probably haven't watched any of these because I haven't recorded one since I took the little break thing from YouTube. But I, it was just a series I was just starting out, so I thought that I it was, uh, it would be good to con sort of continue on with the series and and sort of try and develop, I guess, or continue to develop this this village. So in this video, I'm just going to do a quick little summary of what's happened before this episode while doing some work. And then we will sort of, I don't know if we'll get into any build builds today, but we might, I'm not really sure yet. We'll see how, much, how long it takes for me to sort of do the stuff I want to do. And yeah, that'll be pretty much everything. So I'll hop right into it. The series was just starting out, it was on its third episode when I took my break from YouTube, and this series was actually one of the reasons I stopped recording YouTube, was because I couldn't record this series well, and I figured if I couldn't even record Minecraft, I wouldn't be able to record other games. So I thought that, um, at the time, I thought that it was better to stop instead of just looking at my fraps settings and noticing that I have something checked off that I wasn't supposed to have checked off, but that's okay. And so, in the series, basically the whole, whole premise, I guess, of the whole of the series was that I'm, I'm in hardcore survival, so I can't die or the map deletes itself, and the goal is to beat the end dragon, I guess, but also more so to develop the village into something that looks actually nice, unlike regular Minecraft villages, and this wasn't the plan right off the start, but I got a really good spawn right next to the village, and so I, um, that's what I sort of decided to choose as my endeavor for the uh, for the series. And so today we're not going to be doing too like too much stuff. I think we're going to start the development of a blacksmith shop because I think that's what I want to build. Just because usually villages have a blacksmith. Oh, I've like, ruined the carrots. Oops. Um, usually villages have a blacksmith shop, but this one didn't. And so I think it would be cool just to make one so that the blacksmith, if he wants to, which probably he doesn't, but that's okay, um, will be able to go and sort of work in. And then it'll sort of just be our first major, it'll be our first major build because our house was a renovation as opposed to a build. And then we'll sort of hop right into the other stuff as the series goes on, into building sort of village fortifications and all that good stuff. But right now it is time to sleep because I don't want all my villagers to die. So I'm going to finish this and I'm going to run upstairs. And then I will sleep. Nope, oh, that's not, that is not how you sleep, that's for sure. Okay, so, so I am. Um, I'm not sure where we're gonna build the blacksmith shop yet. I, off camera, sort of off camera, collected some clay. The uh, there was supposed to be an episode that went up before this one, and I didn't end up recording it because I didn't notice that. Uh, well, I did record it, and then I was clearing out some old footage from my. Um, from my like computer files to try and free up the computer and make it stop like make just leave more space so that my frames don't drop and all that kind of stuff and I accidentally deleted the Minecraft video as well because I'm dumb but that's okay so I'm going to be Oop, perhaps is lagging a little bit there we go okay I'm going to be I think building it here I'm not sure how big it's going to be I'm just going to try and Improv an outline of a house here and see what happens. What's that look like? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks like a giant blacksmith shop, but that's okay. I think that the uh, the way I want to do it is have the basement as a more developed area and sort of have oh, it, it'll be like a one-story house and then the basement will be really developed and sort of have a uh, a pretty high-tech, not high-tech, but like a a furnace that will have like a, a chimney going up the middle of the house and then the rest of the house will sort of just be built around the chimney and so to do that we'll sort of need to clear out a good chunk of land and then the top floor will just be like his living quarters along with a little area where he can sell his goods 
and then that'll be his little house. And then we can stop. Maybe we'll try and push him over here or something. I'm not sure. We'll do something. Something to get him over to his house, because we know he won't come by himself. So I think we'll go, I think, four or five blocks below below the ground level, and then that'll be the basement. Actually, no, we'll do three, and then the floor would be one, and then we could do windows along the surface. And my shovel broke again. And then the uh, we'll do windows along the, sur like the surface level so that he can sort of see out his basement. Sort of like a real house. Um, and then... You can do all the things. Oh, and also I got this from a, a rare mob drop over here. That's what that is. In case you're wondering. I'm not sure how many people... Watched... But how many people that are still subscribed to my channel watched the Surviving Minecraft, I think I called it. No, I called it Hardcore Survival. Just the basic, like, name. But... Um... Uh, there is some stuff, obviously, because of the video I recorded that I deleted that is not, like, you wouldn't have seen me acquire it, but I can't, I'm pretty sure, let me see, let me, yeah, see, it's hardcore survival, so you can't, like, spawn anything in, so it's not like I cheated, it's just, I didn't record everything I'm doing, and I don't think I'm going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to record everything I do just because... I, I'll record it, but I won't um, like I won't upload it all, just because if I die, I want that to be on on like I want to have footage of me dying, and so I'll record it, but I don't want to put everything up just because I want to do like collecting resources and stuff off camera most of the time, so you don't need to see me just like cut down trees for 20 minutes and that'll be the video, because I don't think that that's what you guys want to see. But if it is what you want to see, be sure to let me know because that's what I can do, and. And then that's, yeah, basically if, if you want to see me do, like, all of the stuff, like, I, I, as soon as I stop uploading the video, I close the map and do no, like, off-camera work, then let me know in the comments, but I, I doubt that that's what you guys would want. Alright, so, finished up with the clearing of the basement. I'm a little sick, and so I have to blow my nose, so give me two seconds and I'll be right back. So, sorry about that. I'm back. Um... I think I wanted to do stone bricks here, and I completely forgot the stone bricks. Actually, no, I can do cobblestone floors here. Just because it is the basement. Basements don't usually have exquisite floors, especially not in the villager house. And we're going to need more cobble. I hope we have enough. I hope I don't have to go resource mining in the middle of the video, because the plan was to not do any resource mining in the videos. Let's go see. I think we have enough. We should have a good chunk. A whole stack. Okay, that's not too bad. And we'll grab that as well, because we will need that eventually. So, put him back here. Yeah, that should be enough, I think. No, it won't be. That's okay. It is just cobble, so we can go and get it. I don't think... Oh, no, it will be good. Okay. I will have enough to make some fern, fern eye and or furnaces, depending on if you want to speak proper English or not. Make some bricks. 27 in total, that's not going to cut it, but that's alright. It'll have to do. And this is, is this a square? No, so it doesn't really matter what we, what we do here. I think I'll do this. Not that. This. And then eventually when we go to the nether, we'll put nether rack there. And we'll go like this. And then that's just temporary. So I can do that. And then the chimney will go up, like so. And then we can just do that like that. I can take some fall damage, but that's okay. So there's the chimney, and now we need a crafting bench so we can make some fern eye. I'm crafting... I forget how to craft a furnace. Okay, so we're not going to have enough stone to make furnaces, but that's okay. The furnaces will go like this. <coughs> and then another rock will go in the middle, and then it'll go up like that. Now we'll work on the exterior 
of the house. So let me think here. Stairs, we'll need to go there. We need an outline and we don't have very many resources. I guess we'll do it in wood. I'm just worried that the wood might catch fire. But we do have a good amount of time to... Until we get the... Until we get to the nether, because we still have to find diamond and do all the good things that need to be done in preparation to get to the nether. So I don't think we have too much to worry about with with the wood catching fire just yet. So we can just build it with wood for now and sort of see see in the future how that changes if it changes. It's a good thing that we tore down that villager house, otherwise we would have no resources to build with. Okay. So this would be the basement. And then we just need to build some stairs for him to go up. And we'll put those in one of these two corners, because there's more space over here. So we can we'll store this down here, and we'll make some stairs. Four stairs, perfect. And we can go like this. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll put this. Nope, not like that. Put this there. And put a wood. Oh, this will definitely catch fire. This is way too close. Hmm. We'll see. I don't know. I think it's going to catch fire there. But we'll find out, I guess. I don't know if they fixed the fire mechanics in the game or not. And then, oh, we'll go, need to go up another level, actually. That's right, I forgot this was going to be elevated. So, let's just turn all this into wood planks. So, we'll do this. There'll be a window there. Like that. And then, we'll go here. Same thing here, another window there. This should be three wide. Just as, like, a fire... Why am I breaking up the pick? Just like a fire escape, almost, for the blacksmith in case this house catches fire and he needs to get out and over here we won't have anything because there's the stairs and so we have actually we have glass panes here too perfect okay so we can put these in and then yeah so i'm uh i'm finally getting on to a sort of schedule with um with my uploads. It's not a perfect schedule yet by any means, just because I still have to figure out how I'm planning on um, on doing my doing my weekly like uploads. I, I'm, I'm going to try and do three a week, just because I want to try and get the most content to you guys that I can. And I was thinking about alternating between just Minecraft, CSGO, and... Um, And, and whatever other game I record, Grand Theft Auto, the police police mod, I think that that's the best like combination I can do. Just it'll be a good contrast in series, series is C or I, the plural for everything is apparently E I because it's the funniest. And I think that if I if I have this good contrast, I'll find to be able to find something for like that not everybody everybody but. Most people will be able to find something on my channel that they enjoy. Now, that might not be necessarily every video, but I don't think that every single person on my channel needs to watch every video I upload. Because there's things that one person will like more than other people. And so, if someone likes one thing more than another thing, then you don't need to watch the stuff you don't like. And that's completely understandable. Like, I'm not going to get upset that people aren't watching all of my videos. I, uh, I don't really expect them to, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that's sort of my... That's sort of my plan, and if you let me know, if you want to let me know what you think about that plan, by all means, let me know in the comments, and I will adjust my plan accordingly. But I think that that's the best sort of path to take, is that I, I sort of have a good contrast between my series, and I sort of have a good, um, sort of not, not like good breaks between them, but I can record a bunch of Minecraft and a bunch of... Uh, LSPDFR and a bunch of Grant or a bunch of CSGO all at once, like in, in sessions, and then I sort of like one week I can record one video and then or one game, and the next week I can record another one, and then I can upload 
just one of those episodes a week, and then I'm not constantly switching between games as I record, because I can sort of just record whatever game I feel like playing that day. And I think that would bring out a better quality of content than if I sort of had to re- sit down and record Grand Theft Auto every single day, or, or CSGO every single day. And um, what I'm doing in CSGO is I'm just doing regular matchmaking, and then I'm sort of just, if I collect good clips, then I sort of save those clips and use them later. Because I think that that's the best way to... Um, best way to have good content in, in, in a game like Counter-Strike is, is sort of just go along with it, and if you... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. If you have like a good, if you have like a good clip or something, then you save it and upload it later. There will be eventually a time where I upload full games if if that's what people want to see. But right now, I don't really want to um, do that just because with Fraps, it takes up such a large space on my computer that it's like one game and I can't record anything else for until that game is deleted. Like it was almost I uh, I recorded a game like a full game a couple of weeks ago with uh, some of my some of my friends we all have like a clan and it was a clan versus clan game on CSGO so we thought it would be pretty cool to record and I recorded it and it was only like it wasn't even that long it was like 25 rounds the game I went didn't even go down to the last round we killed them except it um it took up 150 gigs of memory on my computer and so I couldn't record anything else until I either uploaded that or deleted it and I just chose to delete it because there were some moments that were good, except the, the whole game was, like, the game as a whole wasn't that, that great, right? It was just a regular CSGO game, and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to have to not be able to record because of the CSGO, so. We're just collecting some, uh, some wheat here because there's a villager who trades for wheat, and I think that we can take advantage of that trade and get some emeralds since I do have to do some more resource collection, which I'm going to do off-camera. So for now, the bunnies can populate that blacksmith's house. As you can see, that little white guy over there is just hopping all over the place. And there you go. There's a lot of farm here. A lot of farm and not any... Like, like not that much of anything else. You can see that the... Uh, I think that's the blacksmith. What we'll probably work on is either going to the nether and sort of working our way to the ender dragon goal or the next thing we'll do is is work on the church i just want to sort of like everything else in this in, on my channel i want to have a good contrast in my minecraft videos of sometimes i'm doing resource collection on film like on like recorded and then sometimes i build something sometimes i just go try and fight in the nether and stuff like that i just have to be careful because i um if i don't if I die, I have to want to make sure it's being recorded because obviously the goal is to never die, but if I do die, I want you guys to be able to see it and not just have me have little announcement videos saying, Rip, I died. Sorry, I guess you're never watching this again because that would kind of suck for for the people who, who do like this this series and want to like continue to avidly watch. They, they wouldn't be very very good thing for them if they're really enjoying it and they don't even get to see the finale. This is not him. Is it you? No. I need to find the regular villager. There he is. I see his head. He's over there. Did he? Whoa, I got juked. He juked me. That's okay. We'll go in here and we will talk to this fellow. There we go. We got four emeralds. And with those emeralds, we can buy apples. Yay. We'll, uh. Is there more wheat over there? I think I saw some more. We'll go grab one more and we can harvest some emeralds. Oh, and there's potatoes here too. I'll grab those potatoes as well. Try and organize the farm a little bit. This should be just potatoes, this area. And then we can... Oh, we got a poisonous potato. That's good. Then we can... Um, sort of have the other areas as wheat, and then another area as carrots, and then sort of go from there. I don't think potatoes give you a very good yield. I think it's only two potatoes for every every fully grown potato that you harvest, which isn't very good. I don't know how many potatoes this guy wanted. Let's go see before we try and plant all of them. And now it's now he's a laboratory guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? You. No, not you. Where does this... Villagers got mad jukes. 
No, not in there. Where did this guy go? The priest is checking out the new house. Are you in here? Is that you? Yes, there you are. Okay. You want potatoes? 16. Okay, good. So we'll give you 16 potatoes. And we will give you 21 wheat. And now we're just rolling in, in the diamonds, or in the emeralds, which is good. We have nine. And we can go see... Let's go see the... Priest. Priest is checking out the new house as well. Which is good. Zombie flesh, gold. Okay, don't have either of those. There was one guy I thought I could trade with, with emeralds, but I guess not. But, I think that's going to be just about everything in this video. So, if you enjoyed, and you're excited to have a Minecraft series back on my channel, because this is what I started my channel off with, um, then be sure to let me know by leaving a like, and a favorite, if people still favor videos, I'm not really sure. And if you're new to my channel, please and you're, please be sure to subscribe. And if you're old to my channel, please just keep watching my stuff, because it means a lot to me. And let me know in the comments if you like what you're seeing, if you want to see more resource mining or if you want to see more wow there's a lot of farmland here or if you want to see more um more of just me building stuff or whatever whatever you want to see on on the channel is because what i'll do because i sort of want to i want to create content on minecraft that i'll enjoy doing but the easiest way for me to enjoy making content on minecraft is if you if you guys sort of like watching it so yeah just be sure to let me know what you think so that's pretty much everything Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Game Fruit Pulp, and I will see you guys all later.